Hey. It's a nice sunny day. The kids have been riding their bikes around and playing with friends already. So we are going to go unload our bikes from the top of the truck so that we can bike around too. Let's do it. Traveling, exploring, and learning on the road. Bum and family road trip. Bikes are down, we're ready to ride. Well, we're ready to ride. Emmett's not, so we need to go unbury his little bike stroller so that we can tow him around behind us. We got the cart, we got the wheels, we'll go put it together. Your stuff goes in the back and you go in the front? Yeah. Excellent. You ready to ride? Yes, we're biking. And it's going to stay a back and I don't want it to be in the front. Bye-bye. Emmett and I biked over. There's this nice trail that goes all around Balloon Fiesta Park, which is right there. And it goes right to our campground. So right as you pull out of where we're staying, the trail is there and it leads you all the way here. We're over by the Balloon Museum, which we're going to go check out on Sunday because it's free on Sundays from 9 to 1. So that should be fun for the kids to see. Um, lots of the gates here are closed. There's only one gate that's open and so I can't really go in yet to see where I'm going to be working and where to park bikes because it's not really set up yet. So at least I know it's about a six minute bike ride to get over here and then I'll just have to figure out how long it takes to get to where I need to be, either to the media tent or the balloon discovery tent where I'll be working. So I think it won't be too bad to get around. That's nice that there's a bike path right from here. I was told there's lots of goat heads and not familiar with those. They are these itsy bitsy little evil spikes and they stick out in all directions. They grow on some plants in the ground and so you'll find them in the grass. I just cleaned about 10 of them off our floors in the RV this morning because they get stuck in shoes and they poke your feet, they pop bike tires. So I'm glad that there's this paved path all the way that we won't really have to worry about that. I thought we were gonna have to be biking over like through grassy fields and stuff. And so that's much better that we get this nice path. So I'm looking forward to that. It's an easy ride, pretty much flat the whole way. And it borders right along this canal all the way to the RV park. So I didn't really figure out what I wanted to today. I was hoping to know where to park my bike and where my tent would be, where I'm working, so I can figure out how long that's gonna take. But there's an orientation coming up in a couple days and so I'm sure I'll figure it all out there. Now we're gonna head on back and see what everybody else is doing. I'm over on the far side of the field where the bike path is. And if I look out there, right over here, these closer tents on this side, is where the media tent is going to be and the navigator tent which is where they serve meals for while you're working and way over on that corner the tents at the far end are where I should be working in the balloon discovery tent so that could be quite a walk to get to the other side not bad I don't mind doing it I just need to keep in mind timing and how long it's going to take to get there through the crowd of people to get to work so here you can see distance wise how far it is from where the balloons are launched to the RV parking. So the balloons are launched right over there. We just biked across this bridge. And if you look all the way down that way, the next bridge crosses over the waterway and then right on the other side is where the RVs are parked. So it's not too far. So 
I was just walking into the house and got a goat head right in my foot. These are nasty little things. They are hard with little pokies on each side. They are not fun to step on. We found a really cool biking place with some dirt jumps and stuff. It's less than a mile down the road and so we biked over with some friends and had a lot of fun there for a few minutes and then one of our friends crashed and broke his arm. So the fun didn't last very long. And while we were out biking, I did pick up some goat heads in my bike tires. And I figured out as long as you leave them in there, then they just plug their own hole and they're fine. If you pull them out, the air starts coming out. So I pulled one of them out and I heard pss as the air starts coming out. So I stuck it back in there and it's been fine until I have some time to either patch the tire or get new ones. So they actually have thorn proof tires that I'm looking into. So I might get those, but I need to go track down where they sell them. So it's been a good day of biking and we'll see you tomorrow.